What's up guys, my name is Brandon and iOS 11.2.5 has finally been released to the general public after going through seven long betas. So you can see it is quite a small update and you should have this update waiting for you inside your settings. If you go to general software update, it should populate right within there. Unless of course you were on the beta program and you were already running beta seven because this update does have the same build number. And if you are curious, that build number is 15D60. All right, so let's take a look at what all has changed with 11.2.5 and if it's worth updating to. So this update does seem pretty small on the surface and definitely from the size as well but after going through the release notes I was actually surprised to see how much has changed with 11.2.5 since 11.2.2 so first of all iOS 11.2.5 is going to be the lowest firmware compatible with the new Apple HomePod which will be releasing next month so this update is going to add support for the HomePod it's going to allow you to set it up it's also going to allow you to automatically transfer your Apple ID your Apple Music Siri and Wi-Fi settings straight to the HomePod and the HomePod is going to be available to pre-order on Friday for 349 bucks and it will be shipping out starting on February 9th. Now iOS 11.2.5 also brings a new change to Siri that allows you to hear news from Siri by simply saying, Siri, tell me the news. And you can see it starts automatically playing right there in podcast. Another cool way to do this is by saying which category you want to hear news from. So if you go ahead and ask Siri, Siri, play sports news. There you go. And you can see it starts automatically playing ESPN radio here inside a podcast, which is really cool. Now the annoying chaos bug has also been patched here in 11.2.5. And if you don't recall, this is the bug that would freeze your iPhone when receiving a link that has a preview image that basically just never loads and it freezes up the phone, both the sender and the receiver. Now I purposely did not make a video on this on my channel, but everything Apple pro and a couple other channels did upload it. So I'm sure you guys are aware of this bug, but anyways, it has been patched here in 11.2.5 and you won't be getting your phone frozen by your friends anymore. Now, some of these smaller changes in this update include a bug fix for an issue that caused the phone application to display incomplete information in the call list and also an issue that caused iMessage conversations to be listed out of order, both of which have been reported to me on Twitter while in the beta phase, mainly around the beta 2 and beta 3 phase. I got this from the same user that had both these bugs, so those have been patched here in 11.2.5, the final version. Also, as I mentioned in my beta update videos, iOS 11.2.5 adds additional protection against the notorious Spectre and Meltdown vulnerabilities. And if you don't know what those are, watch my video on iOS 11.2.5 2.2 when that was released that was an update all about patching up these vulnerabilities i basically described what they are kind of in depth in that video. So go ahead and watch that one. That is linked in the cards right now. Now, speaking of vulnerabilities, the security notes for iOS 11.2.5 are pretty interesting. And you can see here that there are a lot of bugs fixed, but take a look at how many kernel bugs were present all the way up to iOS 11.2.2. So that is pretty good to see if you are into jailbreaking, but you know, I don't think that this means an exploit is coming soon or anything like that, but it is interesting to see, especially for those interested in jailbreaking. Now, as for the battery life, it has been great here on my iPhone 8 plus. I can't say that you're going to notice a big bump in battery, but it does seem to last a little bit longer than it did on 11.2.2. On the performance side, it does seem about the same as 11.2.2. I haven't really been able to notice any big difference, but it does run pretty smooth. Definitely no complaints here. I have not had any random reboots or freezes or anything like that on 11.2.5, so that's always good to know. So that is pretty much it for iOS 11.2.5. Definitely a must update, unless you are, of course, holding out for a jailbreak. Definitely go ahead and update to this if you're not looking for a jailbreak, as it does, again, further protect against Spectre and Meltdown. We have the Chaos Message Bug patched. If you're planning on getting a HomePod, you definitely need 11.2.5 to even set it up. We have a little bit better battery life and great performance as well. So definitely go ahead and check it out again if you are not interested in jailbreaking. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS coverage. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.